The Sam Livecast is brought to you by Fixers Living. Check them out on the internet at fixersliving.com or love them on the Facebook. Facebook.com forward slash Fixers Living. Kitchen, bath, outdoor, joy. That's what they do. Welcome to the Sam Livecast, everyone. I'm Sam. It's Wednesday, if you're watching this Wednesday. I suppose it could be any day, so I should probably forget about saying what day it is. But it's another good food day here. Everybody good? Kel is over there on the couch hanging out with us today. Fantastic. Thanks for spending a little time with us. She's back. She's back. She's not completely back, but she's (laughs) back. Max and Allie, we're here in the back working the controls. It's dessert week, baby. It is dessert week, and... uh, you know what? I put together just a few pictures of uh, food that we've done lately. I'm always impressed when I look at the shit that we do here. <laughs> it's amazing. And how easy it is. And it's no coincidence. I don't think that our iTunes rankings are as stupidly good as they are. Yep. Mm-hmm. Uh, is you, it three of the top five episodes right three now? Three of the top five episodes on food on mm-hmm. iTunes. That is uh, so crazy to me. It is crazy, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, yeah, impressive. You know what's interesting? Like the live cast has come... Uh, a long way, almost full circle. We started with a half hour show and, and then it grew to 45 and then it, we were even pushing an hour, hour five, hour 10 sometimes. I think it was too long. We've sort of pulled it back a little bit, made it a little bit more food centric and I think you could watch a little bit, a little conversation, a little fun and then we cook something easy, simple right here and it's great. And Check it out. Number two, shrimp and pork gyoza. Number three, chicken and dumplings. Number five, quick pierogies. Well, take a look at my computer. It just computer. blows my mind. Yeah, look at that. Boom, right there. Shrimp and pork gyoza <laughs> that we made. Amazing. Wait, look at that. Mm. The pierogies. Wait, mm-hmm. look at that. Mm. You know what that is? That's from Pasta Week. That's the crispy gnocchi. I loved those. How good does that look? A lot of people, including me, didn't know that you can make crispy gnocchi. No, you can. And the key is, what do we learn? Boil them first. Yep. And then? Butter. <laughs> right. Drain them in a pan with some butter. Yep. And they get crispy. And then, in this case, we added tomato sauce and... Or and tomato paste and some garlic, and we did pesto and the green one and stuff. But check out, we also did chicken and dumplings for uh, Dumpling Week. Did I tell you, you sent me home with some leftovers? Yeah. I think I had it two or three nights later. Yeah. It was just as good. Oh. It was unbelievable. Yeah. Now, that's one of my new favorite meals, and I didn't even know what it was. I thought it was an appetizer. No, you thought we were making like a chicken in a dumpling or yes, something, exactly. right? exactly. Uh, and look, how about this? The honey walnut shrimp. Mm. Sort of the yeah. not deep fried honey walnut shrimp. Yep. This is what the live cast is about. It's about simple, quick, big and taste, small enough for kind of food. And today, ladies and gentlemen, for the second day of donut dessert week will be no exception. Hmm. Today will be so stupid, you'll probably go, oh my God, why didn't I think of that? (laughs) And you probably didn't think of it because it's wrong, because we're doing hot butter donuts. Just wait and see. It's really good. And uh, (laughs) if you haven't seen Monday's show yet... What, what what's the recipe called? Oh wait, here it is. is Sorry, it donut. I got it right here. Sorry, Boom, I got it right baby. here. Oh, donut masu. Donut masu. If wow, you missed Monday's that. show, all you got to so do good. is go to the samlivecast and it'll be the most recent episode. Nice. I can't believe that's our work. Wait, I can't believe that's my work. <laughs> I know. My work, your picture. Nice job, young man. Thank nice you. Nice job. <laughs> all right, what do we got to talk about today? Let's see. Lead it off. Hmm. 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 Uh, some mail. From Fabio Fazzolo, Fa- Fazzolo. I'm, I'm saying it with an Italian accent, and I believe he's from Brazil. Oh. It's crazy, but I have a big fan base in Brazil, and I think it happened with the Discovery uh, Health Series. Absolutely. That was there. And, and you know now- what? It's not just Brazil. It's Argentina. Right. Peru. Right. I've, I, look at the, I look at the breakdown, and right. I see it's, these it's countries. Nuts. So uh, Fabio writes, I study English listening this podcast. Thereby learn many new recipes. You're the best. My family loves you. You speak very, very, very well. And better still, cooking, congratulations. You're my friend. Nice. How nice is that? You are my friend. And I wrote back, no, that was an Italian accent. Yeah, sorry. Uh, (laughs) And I wrote back and said, just don't swear as much as me and your family will like you even more. (laughs) Fabio, thank you for reaching out. We love you. Uh, Elisa Hilliard writes, uh, let's see, we... uh, she wrote earlier saying uh, we gave up cable because it was expensive. Mm-hmm. 
and we miss you, sorry. And she didn't realize the live cast existed, so I told her about it. She goes, uh, we've never been happier since we gave up cable, and now we have you. We watch you guys. We also have Netflix. It's great. Thanks for keeping this show free. And that's always the goal. Cool. Hell yeah. And again, she said, uh, again, thanks for the awesome free show. Thank you. James Goodman writes, after the Chicken and Dumplings episode, he writes, you're a classy guy, Max. Serve the lady before you scarf it all yourself. <laughs> and if hey, you watch the I gotta aftercast take photos, part, and then. the first thing Max does is he runs in there, he Dig grabs in. the plate that I've eaten off of, and he has a bite. <laughs> well, I don't think Ali's going to eat Allie, off of your plate. Poor Allie is no, back there. I don't care at all, but I all did right, think good. that was a I funny comment. I thought that was, it was a funny <laughs> comment. It was a funny I've got comment. A, before we move on from mail, i got a comment, yeah. too. Yes. You want me to do it? Yes, go ahead. Okay, so for... During Dumpling Week, what we do is we traditionally, when the episode is available, we put it up on Facebook and Twitter for you guys. So you, Dad, put this up. We start Dumpling Week on the live cast with quick pierogies. And damn, are they good. Watch it here. And they were good. Yes. So do you guys see any problem with that post? I mean... Wait, did I spell something wrong? No, does it look... I mean, does that look offensive to you? Dumpling Week on the live cast with pierogies and damn, are they good? No. Nope. Okay, because... A person who was not happy with you, I've got it right here. A person who was not happy with you wrote this comment based yeah. on that writing. Sam, I love you, but please stop using certain words on your blog, such mm. as that you just used. Mm. There are thousands of people who do not use these mm. words in their vocabulary thousands. and are offended by them. Also, FB will take you off if they discover them. Wait, have we not gotten to a point where damn, damn is, has to be an acceptable word? You can yeah. say damn on the news, on the radio, so that's whatever. that's what it was. You wrote, damn, are they good? And, and that was extremely is... offensive to this person. I don't, that's I, just I don't, weird. I don't see the damn. I guess the whole hell and damnation kind of thing is it. <laughs> I guess if you don't swear, then maybe damn is, then you would say darn instead, right? Yeah. But I feel like, what I mean, who are these people that are trying to like change somebody else? Right. Like if, well, if if they don't like if they don't like that about you, then they have every right to just leave you alone. What sure. are, why, where why do where do they get off saying, "No, Sam, don't be who you are. Change who you are because that suits me better." Right. Right. They think they're right. Well, it's so funny, right? In two emails, uh Fabio is uh is a huge fan uh of exactly of my words. And that person is apparently not that big of a fan of, of my words exactly. <laughs> and now there's Gummy Bear who writes, hey, I remember this faggot. Wow, everyone in Cali sounds Ooh, like a total stoner I douche. I hate when you do that. <laughs> I can't believe that he would <laughs> actually. Gummy Bear loves and why, I just said I can't believe that he would write that. I don't know that Gummy Bear is a man. Gummy Bear <laughs> we, wrote that, I guess. Gummy this. Bear it's doesn't. It's a 13-year-old boy just trolling for comments. <laughs> trolling for negativity. Yeah. Uh, I don't know what that's all about. That's crazy. Hey, That's crazy. Um, yeah. I, I know you probably have something else that you want to talk about, but really. I promised uh, last week, <laughs> yes. really quickly, that I would just explain to people how they can go about taking their taking the live cast on their computer yeah. and putting it right onto their plasma TV. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. it's literally what, you're it's, saying you're saying without using like Netflix, without using mm-hmm. uh, you mean or like a, Apple, I mean, TV. Apple TV, without or, having yeah, to buy a hundred dollar Apple TV right. or a hundred dollar Roku. Right. What you can do is you can buy this thirty five dollar cable. It's a mini display port to HDMI that c- plugs right into your computer. Then you take an HDMI cable that goes from that into the TV. Boom. You can watch any. That bi- essentially takes your computer screen and makes it your TV screen. Show me. Wait. Show me that. Show the me that clip again? again. You mean the, the cord? The, the cord? I don't know if I have that. You do. You absolutely do. And here I'm going to show it. Okay. Do you see the? It's the third. It's the fourth one from the top. Oh, I have that one. It's the fourth yeah, one. Yeah, from yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I have that. All right. I don't. So wait a second. So that that's the out to HDMI in. Yes. So that goes out from your computer and gives you the ability you to kidding? plug an HDMI com- mm-hmm. cable into your so computer and then into your TV. Everything that you see on your computer, then you see. There's two. Yeah. Uh, what you can mirror the displays so yes. that whatever's on your computer is the exact same on the TV, yes. or you can just use it as a secondary monitor. So you can sit there on your computer, still on Facebook, on yes. Twitter, doing your work, whatever. Your computer while screen is simultaneously. Blank, but that one is, wow. What your computer screen is your work. That's pretty the amazing. TV That's is, pretty the, is amazing. the live cast. So anything That's how I we didn't used know to that. watch the live. How much cast? is exactly. that? Thirty-five dollars. It's right there on on Apple.com. You can buy it anywhere, wow. actually. You know, I'm, I bet they have non-name brand versions for fifteen dollars. That's pretty amazing. Yeah. 
So um, that's a great way to do it, people. And and we put on this great HD free podcast for you guys. You may as well consume it in the proper way. I would say. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right, moving on. Uh, all right, so let's see what's going on. Uh, we're just starting to figure out. Uh, we're going to do something at um, Specialty Produce. You got to get your ass down there and shoot something. And I think it might be this week. Oh, I People do. keep saying to me, you talk about Specialty Produce mm-hmm. here in San Diego. Uh, what's it look like? Does it look like a supermarket? Does it look like a Henry's or a... What's Henry's now? Sprouts. 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 Any of those stores I go... No, it doesn't. It's like not the, it's not a pretty thing. It's basically a warehouse, Mm -hmm. commercial warehouse that services most, most restaurants in San Diego get fruit and vegetables from these guys. But civilians can go there now. And I love it because they have amazing stuff. Amazing stuff. We have been making the most unbelievable heirloom tomato salads in this house. Mm. Heirloom tomatoes, sliced, crumbled blue cheese, uh, red onion. We should do this on the show one day because this is the, our favorite salad now. Diced red onion. Salad week? And salad week. You, and will, throw the, you will throw the kibosh on salad week. Right. No, if that was the kind of salad we could do, we could do that. There are salads that I like. I just don't want to eat salads all the time, <laughs> even though we're starting to eat better I was just, right now. Hey, that's okay, a perfect salad segue. Week. You want to talk a little salad bit about your diet idea. coming up? No, I don't really want to. Are you to. sure? Wait till I'm into it a little bit okay, more. Okay, fine. All right. Because you, you don't know, know what I'm you're going to do yet. I should probably... Lucky's going crazy over there. I should probably uh, show a picture of the scale now at the beginning and then Do like it. a couple weeks in and then... Or, I, what, hey, God, screw the scale. How about just a straight up before and after picture with your shirt off? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure that's what everyone sure wants to see. I'm sure that is, not, that is not pretty. This is a food show, man. <laughs> okay, so uh, a, couple, a week or so ago, Allie gave us a choice of three... Three food-related stories to talk about, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. We do that again. Yeah, let's do it. All right, let's hear what you got. Okay, so three little snippets. Um, Bourdain did an, I, an AMA, Ask Me Anything, on Reddit. Yeah, on Monday. Awesome, <clears throat> nice. Kind of interesting things from that. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, story about kids in, I don't want to mess this up, Korea, I believe. Uh, they bought two hundred and fifty dollars worth of French fries. <laughs> Yes. Kind of entertaining. There's this whole thing called potato parties. I've never heard of in that. In Korea or everywhere? In Asia. It's hilarious. Oh my yes. And then um, if you've ever heard of like on Twitter a lot, people do like first world problems, you know, like. Yes. Or dear Haitian <laughs> pen pal, like you're complaining and it's really pathetic. Yes. There's a whole list of the worst food first world problems. Oh. And they're kind of I funny. like the first world problem. Problems. I do too. I want to hear <laughs> that. Yeah, I want to hear what, what, what. Yes. I want to go okay. through a couple of them for sure. Okay, a couple of them. Ugh, the worst cookie and milk situation ever. <laughs> <laughs> what? Let's wait for the picture. There it is. <laughs> the cookie stuck in the glass. Oh, man. Oh, totally I a first see. World I see. You get right. how that's a first world problem? <laughs> it's a very first in world Africa, problem. In Africa, they're like, where are we going to get water today? <laughs> right. Hey, wait, yeah. I, wait, I have a question. Your cookie's too small. Wait, yeah. you hear about first world not so often. You definitely hear about third world. Mm-hmm. Is there second world? And who, and who is in that so, category? I so know. I know I can explain this. This oh. is it's a common misconception that third world yes refers to like poor bat, like poor yes mm-hmm. yes poor you know undeveloped. But really, but really, what the term originated after World War Two? Yes, when the world was essentially dividing up between the Eastern Bloc and the West. There was the Soviet, there was the, the West, which was the first world. Then yes. there was the Soviet Union and the communist states, which were the second world. And then everything else was the third world. <clears throat> it didn't have anything to do with like first, second, third place. It was just, that was the third. I see. Yeah. Hmm. I'm sure in Africa, they don't call themselves the third world. No. Huh. That's anyway, interesting. Yeah. Okay, good. Keep going. Okay. Um, being left with just the butts oh, of the man. bread. <laughs> Like the heels. By the way, when I have that, I turn them inside out yeah. and make a sandwich That's a out of it. That's a good idea. Because uh-huh. then it still looks like regular slices. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Or breadcrumbs. Make breadcrumbs out of that. that. Is, look at you turning this around. Look at me. Thank you. Um, when pudding lids don't cooperate. <laughs> <laughs> That's like um, ketchup oh packets. My God. They're right. so annoying. Like, how oh have they not God. come up with a better one than that? <laughs> but you're eating pudding. Like, it's pathetic. Yeah. Right. Uh, even pretty. worse, yogurt lids. Same kind of thing. Yeah. <laughs> Have you ever cut yourself on one of those? 
No. I have. You have? I have. Really? You yeah. must have the it's thinnest metal. skin ever. It's aluminum. <laughs> it's barely no, metal. I was just telling Allie about this. I just consi- yeah, consistently hurt myself throughout the day. No, you do, I you, nail my head. I you do bang your head a lot. Vampires oh. have thin skin. Vampires oh. have thin skin, Edward. That's right. Uh, we bug anyway. Max about looking like Edward from... Uh, He's got a Twilight. tan now, though. I oh, do a little been bit. outside. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Okay, this one I really like. What are we supposed to do? Lap up overflowing soda with our tongues? <laughs> 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 I like that one. Yeah, that works for me. Uh, uh, let's see. What was the number one? Yeah. Let's go down. Oh, this one's really good. Really fast. <laughs> Capri Suns. Oh, oh God, that I remember is, that. <laughs> my God. That's funny. I <laughs> not, uh, look at that FML. Yeah. I have not had a Capri Sun for... Since like we were playing soccer. Yeah. Yes, I would say. I would say probably 10 years. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Jeez. And number one? Number one is... I'm not there. It's not... I see, I don't think number one is the best, but it is kind of funny, I guess. Too much Too awesome. Too much awesome. <laughs> like, they just... They overflow. You're their, right. That's not very good. It's not. Maybe they're not ranked. No, they're not ranked. Maybe not. There were. I guess not. There was one. Oh wait, one. see where where the was crunchy last, taco? Where was the last time you had a hard shell taco like that? Um, I make them. Do you, you do tacos? I do. Yeah, like regular tacos. Oh. You guys have like taco. We do night? Taco Tuesdays almost oh. every week. Yeah. Do you? Oh. Yeah. Nice. I've never been to the Briggs Taco Tuesday. Is it good, Max? Yeah. By the way, who do we saw? Oh, we saw Nick Renshaw yesterday. Really? Yeah, he said, said to say hi. Said to, to say hi. Oh, that's funny. Said the last time he saw you was at Taco Tuesday at the Brig. Yeah. Wow, that's funny. Yeah. He's talking about a restaurant called the Brigantine here in San Diego, and they're yeah. famous for fish tacos, and they're just great. And apparently, they're what are they? How much are they on Tuesdays? Well, they have they are they have a good deal. They're, I mean, they're like two bucks or something. I see. But, but I mean, there's places everywhere that do like dollar mm-hmm. tacos. Wait, are they I, better I than? Is this a big thing outside of Southern California? Or Taco is Tuesday, it, or is it mostly limited to? Wait, Taco Tuesday? Yeah, I think it's a thing. Uh, outside of here, can yeah. I mean, can somebody in New York and Minnesota and Pull Delaware up? tell us if there's if Taco Tuesday is you know that's really popular? Right? Like I'm sure, I'm sure those things catch on all over the place, right? Yeah. yeah. I can't imagine it not being popular someplace. Yeah. All right. Should I cook? Oh, my God. Probably. Yes. And what yeah. are we making today? I mean, Today we're making, you... uh, if you listen to the show, a no, few I don't minutes think, ago, I, I don't think I said you... hot butter donuts. I don't think you, you said that. You want me to play it back? No, I'll play it back right now. I could totally play it back. Let's not get into it. Nah, you didn't say it. Why don't we just make Hot butter donuts. But before I do that, let me talk about Fixtures Living. Yes. Fixtureslivingcom Fixtures Living on the Facebook. Kitchen, bath, outdoor, joy. An amazing store. We love them. I did a class there the other Friday night. It was a fantastic class. Italian food, great setup. Fun people came to the class. Fixtures Living is really an appliance store. At the heart of it, I guess that's what it is. If you needed a dishwasher or a sink or a stove or oven, that's where you would go for it. But when you walk in, it isn't an appliance store. It's an amazing store. I just want you, uh, every, I just want you to say the line. Does this look like an appliance and plumbing no, store know, to you? You're right. You're Everything right. you're saying is summed up in that line and you never that's exactly say it. exactly right. Does that look like a plumbing appliance store to uh-huh. you? No, it does not. It really doesn't. And right there in that picture, at the center of that picture is a red... Uh, one of those big espresso machines. When you walk in, the first thing they say, can we make you a handcrafted coffee? I don't think there's many places that are doing that. Nope. You know, most appliance places have those bun coffee makers in the back that have been sitting on the heat <laughs> all day long. Oh, By man. the way, you, any place that still has that in their I coffee have, setup? We have, <laughs> you have a bun? I was just going to say we Your work actually, has one of those. Well, we don't use it, but it's back there. Wait, it's a bun? What is it? No, it's a bun, a... B-U-N-N. Max, you've seen them. It's like the diner thing with the the, the glass carafe. Allie will find a picture. The diner thing? Oh, just it's like a... a it's, a a old, pot. it's an yeah. old school yeah. uh, commercial coffee system is that, that a different? lot of businesses have. Is that different than just like the at-home coffee pots? I mean, yes, how, but you'll recognize this shape. You look at it. Right, Allie? I mean, it's the same concept. Look up okay, a bun coffee. Like, there they go. It. See that? Yeah. Remind That's me to take a are. picture. Oh, the I one see. at my work is way more ghetto that's okay, that's like really. modern day that thing are you talking about the grandma no at the but uh he, ma, ma? <laughs> here's, the, like, here's the here's the problem with that kind of system yeah is that the coffee brews into it and sits there on the heat 
Oh. And for five minutes, it's okay. But when you go to it like an hour and a half later, like you would do, you go to your break room at your work and you pour out of that, the coffee's effing disgusting. <laughs> at the very least, they should have one of those really good thermal carafe things. Make the coffee into the deal, pour it into the carafe, and then you use the plunger, the plunger, or the plunger. pour thing or whatever <laughs> to get the coffee out. Mm. The plunger. <laughs> Ma. That well, that's what it is. Those, those big carafe things have like a plunger thing on top to, help, to squeeze out the coffee. <laughs> Anyway, Fixtures Living, check them out. You will love them. San Diego, Costa Mesa, Rancho Mirage, soon to be in uh, Los Angeles at the Glendale Galleria. Not and Arizona. And moving, what? I said not Arizona. Not Arizona. <laughs> and moving uh, from where they are in San Diego to UTC, or as I'm calling it these days, New TC, University Town Center, because it's so rad. Mm-hmm. And we went there yesterday to the Apple store so mom could figure out what was wrong with her computer. Hmm. Turns out, you need to throw away things in your computer <laughs> or you lose all your space. I'm just going to leave it at that. Interesting. And that's what I'm sitting here doing right now. She Actually, had, I'm out. sitting here deleting. She had 16,000 emails in her Gmail oh that she wow. hadn't gotten rid of and couldn't figure out why there's no room in the computer. Oh, that gives me like anxiety. It is anxiety. Well, I looked at them. <laughs> all, right. I just... <laughs> all, right, all right, all right. I looked at them. I'm still deleting. All right, all right. I'm all right. ready to cook something. Okay. Let's go. Okay, so uh, donut, we started with the uh, donut masseu that we made with little powdered donuts. Today for the hot, today uh, we're using these guys. The um, glazed, how do you open these stupid boxes? The glazed, what the hell? Is Entenmann's like the gold standard of cake and donuts? I, I don't know, this part of the world, I mean, I, just when you go to buy them. Okay, here's what we're using. Those guys. The little glazed baby ones. Max is going to eat one. Oh, man. Do you like those? Mm. Mm. Al, do you like those? I, oh, I love those. Those okay. are little glazed guys. Okay, yes. Oh, you my can, God. Here. That was so good. <laughs> throw me one. Allie. What? Okay, hold on. How are you going to get it through the, you gonna get it well, through gonna the wall? Well, I'm going to throw it and see if Kelly can catch it. Oh. Damn it. <laughs> nice throw. Okay, that was really... Well, I'm trying right, to get over here. One more. I have to try and do it this way. <laughs> okay, one more. One more. Last one. Oh, God, the dog is going to get that. That's hilarious. The couch. Thank you. Yay. Yay. Nice. I know I re- looked ridiculous doing that, but I couldn't <laughs> wind up, and I had to kind of get it over there. <laughs> Never mind. Okay, so check this out. Here's what we're going to do. This is a ridiculous little dessert. We're calling it hot butter donuts. It consists of hot butter donuts. Yeah. There'll be a little ice cream. There's going to be some caramel. So we get the pan going, and in the pan, we put some butter. <laughs> Boom, like this. Now, we get ready with our donuts. It's a very simple process of just doing this. We're just going to cut these guys in half. And I think we'll make one portion's worth. It's going to be about this. I don't have to use all the donuts in it, but I want them. Okay? Butter melting. Getting hot in the pan. I'm going to need some uh, caramel for this, butterscotch. Mm. I like to keep it in the uh, fridge. Well, you have to keep it in the fridge. And then right, we'll warm it up right when we need it. Mom doesn't keep jam in the fridge. No. I, I still stand by that. Even though it says keep refrigerated on it? Yeah. Hey, I'm 50 years old, and I've never been killed <laughs> by eating my jam. Okay. Watch this. Come, Max. Coming. Okay. So the donuts are going to go in here. Ready? <laughs> this is wrong. So I did, a, I did a cooking class once, and there was no... Um, whatever the menu was, there was no dessert. And... Um, my assistant, Erin, looked at me before the class about an hour, and she goes, I feel like there should be some dessert for this class. Hmm, really? Should there be? So I started thinking I wanted something easy that wasn't going to be time-consuming. Here's what I came up with, hot butter donuts. Back up for a sec, Manson. We need some ice cream. I'm not an ice cream person, but this dish absolutely requires ice cream. Without ice cream... 
you're just eating donuts that you've been cooking in butter and that feels really <laughs> wrong. For some reason, adding the ice cream to it really helps. All right, so the key is, look at, you see now they're starting to, they're starting to get like a little color on them. See, that's what you want. Oh, you yeah. want some of this brown going on. <laughs> Lucky. Why is he barking so at donuts? These, he's no, not, he's, he's barking, barking at, at Mark that just came walking <laughs> down the side of the house. So now let me try and get some beautiful color on these. Oh, the smell is just unreal. I know, it's really nuts, right? And this is obviously super simple and very last minute because you don't want to, you can't do this in advance or they're going to go cold and the key is having them warm and you know, you get it. You get it, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I'm just trying to get them all on their, ba on their stomachs basically. So that happens. Okay, let's get some ice cream. We'll put it in here. Oh, might have thought about taking this out a second earlier. Mm. You're gonna bend that spoon? No, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not. Oh my gosh. Did you bend the spoon? I did not. It's a big ass spoon. Okay. Watch, ready? These guys look like this now. Oh my God. Here's the thing that you want. Check this out. See this beautiful color oh, in here? Yeah. Oh yeah. Right? Okay, so these guys are done. Let me just control for one second. I got this, oh, the caramel, okay. Stop. Just warm it up a little bit. Don't need it super hot. Put these guys in and around here. Oh, beautiful, right? Cheese. <laughs> nice. Hold on. I'm going to put, um, come on, what is it? What, what's the word I'm looking for? Powdered sugar? No, yes. Yes. A little bit of lemon juice. A tiny, just watch, like this much. That's going to just be a little acid to help play off all the super sweet of everything that's in here. So now we get this. A little bit of the caramel. And a little bit of that. Okay. You tell me that doesn't look stupid. Holy no. crap. Well, it does look Pretty stupid. Ridiculous. It does look ridiculous, doesn't it? <laughs> and so what you want is you want a little bit of ice cream right here with one of these hot buttered donut bits with some caramel. Holy shit. <laughs> Let me tell you something. Right here, these parts of the donut are like all like caramelized and sticky and starting to get a little like uh, crispy. Oh my God. I'm not a dessert guy, but this is insane. This is what donut dessert week looks like, this. And it's been a good, good two things in. We got one more on Friday. I don't even know what's going to be it. I have to make up something, but it's going to be great. Thanks for hanging out with us. Catch us on iTunes. You can go there. You can subscribe so you don't have to worry about downloading. The episodes just come to you. We're coming up to 250, our 250th episode. There's a lot of stuff there. Subscribe. Make your life easier. Tell your friends. Thanks for hanging out with us. Max's arms are getting sore. We'll see you on Friday. We love that you hang here with us. See you.